The Beverly Hillbillies is one of the funniest and most heartwarming sitcoms of all time. Sadly, the main cast members of the show have all passed away. Only Max Bearer Jr., who played Jethro, is still alive in his 80s. Join Facts First to learn about his life, career, and what he's up to today. Maximilian Adalbert Bear Jr. was born December 4, 1937, in Oakland, California. His father, Max Sr., was a boxing champion and his mother a homemaker. As a teen, he was very into sports and played four different sports while attending the Christian Brothers High School. He won the junior title twice at the Sacramento Open Golf Tournament. Upon graduating, he attended Santa Clara University and majored in business and minored in philosophy. Max was quite an intelligent and hardworking young man. Of course, in a twist of irony, he'd become most famous for playing a foolish character in the Beverly Hillbillies. He began his acting career after graduating from college. He had three separate roles in three separate episodes of the series Maverick, all of them released in 1960 when he was 23. The following year, he appeared in two episodes of the show Surfside 6, playing different roles in each. It seems that this was his fate for the remainder of the 60s. While his work was regular, all he got was a few bit parts and small roles in popular TV shows. He was a working actor, but not a recognized one. For the first decade of his acting career, it seemed this was to be his fate. He continued to work a few times each year, but didn't do any work that was meaningful. But his fate changed in 1962. Jethro and Max's Other Work Max Bayer Jr. was cast as Jethro, the cousin of Jed Clampett, who would join the family as they moved to Beverly Hills after earning more money than they knew what to do with. Despite being an intelligent and well-rounded person, it was the bumbling fool Jethro that made Max Bayer Jr. into a star. He loved the role, and he easily became one of the favorite characters on the show. He played Jethro from 1962 to 1971 and appeared in almost 300 episodes of the show. He loved working on it, and this is what gave him further opportunities to act in TV and film. He remained busy throughout the 1960s. He did a variety of roles, most notably appearing in westerns, and he also had a prominent role in the 1967 western film A Time for Killing. All of a sudden, Jethro made Max Baer Jr. famous, and he embodied the character so well that even some of his closest friends began referring to him as Jethro. He was grateful, of course, as this would bring him more work. But even with this constant work, there was still a section of the audience as well as key industry players who could only see Max as Jethro. He was being typecast, and he did regret the role at times. He was a serious actor and wanted to continue to play a variety of roles, but even after the Beverly Hillbillies ended, he feared whether this would be possible. He enjoyed the comic role, but feared Jethro's stupidity would make him seem like a dumb person. In fact, roles washed up largely, and he didn't do much acting work after the Beverly Hillbillies ended. He did have two notable film roles in the films Macon County Line and The Wild McCulloch's. He was also the producer and writer of Macon County Line and spent much of his later career behind the camera. In the 1980s, he appeared in two episodes of the show Max Houston, and his final acting role was in his second episode of Murder, She Wrote in 1991. Some diehard fans have wanted to see him act since then, but he's retired and shows no signs of wanting to return. He hasn't written, directed, or produced a film or TV show either, and focuses mostly on entrepreneurship these days, though he hasn't forgotten his beginnings with the Beverly Hillbillies. His acting career was, therefore, short-lived. He only has 22 films and TV show credits to his name, and we haven't seen him act since the early 90s. But he helped create one of the most memorable characters in sitcom history, and for that, we'll never forget him. When he put his acting behind him, he learned to love the role of Jethro and eventually capitalized on it. He's had no regrets and has a wonderful life ever since then. Max Baer Jr.'s Life Max was married once to Joanne Kathleen Hill from 1966 to 71. He had a long-term live-in relationship with Cher Rhodes. Then, one day upon returning home, he found her dead on the floor, having shot herself. This was obviously a traumatic incident and once again thrust him into the spotlight, with the tabloid press unfortunately probing into his private life. At the time, they were apparently having relationship issues, and it's not clear whether they were going to end the relationship or not. Max Baer Jr. rarely discusses this event in public, so we'll leave it to rest. He's remained single since then, but he still meets friends regularly and still makes the occasional public appearance. He was especially close friends with Buddy Ebsen, who played his cousin Jed, on the show. Max Baer Jr. Today 
While Max eventually called it quits with acting, he didn't slow down in his career one bit. Owing to his studies in business, he decided to pursue entrepreneurship. He bought the licensing rights to the Beverly Hillbillies and decided to open a casino and other ventures based on the theme of the show. It had short-lived success, but he was eager to keep trying entrepreneurship. He mostly got fed up with the Jethro character. While he was glad with the role, he was ready to move on and didn't participate in the 1981 reunion show. Nevertheless, he still tried to cash in on Jethro and the Beverly Hillbillies by trying to sell slot machines with motifs from the show to casinos. He even tried to open a Beverly Hills-themed hotel. In 2015, Donna Douglas, whom Max Baer Jr. had kept in touch with, had died, and this left Max as the last surviving member of the Beverly Hillbillies cast. While Jethro may have halted many of his acting ambitions and made it much harder for him to get serious roles, he certainly didn't give up in life. Macon County Line, which he wrote, produced, and acted in, was the highest-grossing film in America of its time. He also had experience behind the camera for other film projects and focused his time on learning his craft. He still gives the occasional public appearance and appeared in a documentary about Buddy Ebsen following Buddy's death. He's now in his 80s and is enjoying every moment of his life. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character from the Beverly Hillbillies? Let us know in the comments section below.